Okay, so let's take a look at how we can use an algorithm and uh, pseudocode in an example here. So what we want to do is we want to write a program that is essentially going to start Carol right here and he's going to move one space over and then move a set of balls one space to the east. We don't know how many balls are going to be there. It could be three, it could be five, it could be more. And so we want to basically write a program that can take an undetermined number of balls and move them. So let's start off by writing an algorithm. And remember, an algorithm is just basically plain English how we would solve the problem. So basically, we're going to say we're going to move to the ball. And then from there, we are going to move a pile of ball. So to move a pile of balls, we are going to do what? So we're going to have to say while there are balls still present and then we're going to say move a ball okay and that's basically solving our problem but we need to now say how do we do that so we're going to say move a single ball so how do we move a single ball to move a single ball we are going to basically say you know pick up a ball move, put down a ball, and then come back. Okay, so now we need to say how do we come back because we haven't defined that. So we're going to say to come back, we simply say turn around, move, and then turn around again. Okay, so that's basically our program as an algorithm. Notice that we're using plain English here to describe how we do everything. Let's now take this and translate this into uh, pseudocode. So pseudocode, remember, is someplace between code and our actual English words. So we're going to kind of translate what we have. So how do we move? Well, that's our basic move command. So then we have here a, fu a function. So let's call this a function. We'll say function move pile okay and then how do we do that well we're gonna say while ball is present okay and then we are going to say move a single ball so move a single ball okay so now let's go ahead and define our function for move single ball Okay, so that's going to be our take ball, our move, our put ball, and our comeback function that we're going to define. So then how do we define comeback? So our function comeback, and that is going to be turn around, move, and turn around. Okay, so that's basically our function here. Now let's go take this pseudocode and translate that into our actual code. So I'm going to go ahead and delete our algorithm so we can kind of see how we translate this pseudocode here. So again, we're going to start off with move. Now remember in uh, Python we have to define everything, our main commands down low. So we're going to do those here. So we're going to say move and then we're going to call our move pile function. So we're going to say move pile. Okay, now we've got to go back and define our functions here. So we change our definition there and then we put our open and close parentheses. Okay, so while ball is present, uh, that's what that would look like. And then we're going to say move a single ball. So we're going to use that as a function. We'll just add in there. Now we're going to define that function here. So move single ball. Okay, so move single ball is going to be take ball, move, put ball, and then our function come back. Okay, and then we have our define come back. Okay, so we turn around move and we turn around again. All right, so before we run this, though, let's go ahead and do our documentation. So we're going to put some documentation about our functions here. So we'll put triple quotes here. And we're going to say 
this function moves a single pile of any size one spot east. Okay. And we'll say our precondition is um, Carol is standing on a pile of balls. And our post condition Carol is in the same spot and the pile has moved one spot east. Okay. All right, so that's our move pile. Let's look at how we can document our move single ball. So we're going to say this function moves um, a single ball one spot to the east. Okay, our precondition Carol is standing on a ball in our post condition. Carol is in the same spot. Um, one less ball is beneath Carol and one more ball is to the spot east of Carol. Okay, so that is our move ball. And then our comeback is simply um, this function moves Carol backwards one spot west. And notice that we're saying that it moves Carol backwards one spot west. We're not saying, okay, it moves Carol back to the beginning here, uh, because this can be used generically for anything that we might want to use um, Carol moving one spot to the west. So our precondition, Carol is facing east, and there is not a wall in front of Carol. Our post condition Carol has moved one spot west and is standing facing west. Actually I should say this Carol's facing east, there's not a wall um, behind Carol. Okay, let's go ahead and run this and see how it works. Oh, we've got our closing right there. Okay, let's go. Speed this up a little bit. Let me see Carol moves the boss and ends right there. Perfect. All right, and let's try it with a different world here and see how that works. So we're set and run. And so now, even with a different number of balls, we see that Carol still works. And that is the basic of an algorithm. So again, notice how we started off writing it in plain English. We then translated that into pseudocode. And then from there, we were able to translate it right into our Python. Now, pseudocode generally is a between language, and so it doesn't necessarily have to look like Python, it doesn't have to look like other languages, um, but you notice we started to get it to look a little bit like our Python with our snake case and things like that. So now it's your turn to go ahead and play around.